there are some details to the scholar language, in particular the kind of basics, the statements that you can write and the expressions that are significant and worth discussing. One of the big things that probably differs from your previous language is that Scala is a functional language in many ways. And one of the aspects that comes with being functional is that pretty much everything that is not a declaration in Scala is an expression. Now, what does that mean? So a statement is valid code that you can put in that tells the language to do something, but it does not produce a value. So statements have effects but they do not actually give you back a value that you can work with. On the other hand, an expression is something that produces a value. So this is an expression. And not only does it give you back a value, that expression has a type associated with it. In this case, this is a string. The simplest expressions are just literals. And we can combine literals with operators. We're doing this here with plus. We could also have something like value plus age that is also an expression where I have used this operator now this looks similar to what you might have typed in some other language but there is a detail in Scala that is worth noting this plus is not actually built into the language it's part of the library indeed it is a method that is defined on the integer type and when you do value plus age, Scala actually sees this. It calls, it uses the dot notation to call a method plus and passes it age. In general, you can take any operator that takes a single argu argument and write it in the inline format that we saw here. So, for example, the integer type also has a method called min. So you can say value dot min of age extra letter in there, which will give you back the smaller of value and age, but because of this general rule that anything that takes one argument can be used in an infix notation, you can also type this, and I will do that fairly frequently when I'm using things like min, just like I do for things like plus. One question you might ask is about precedence turns out the, so where does min come in precedence? You know from math that in general multiplication and division happen before uh, addition and subtraction. There is a whole set of precedence rules because you also have Boolean operations which typically are lower precedence than uh, addition and subtraction. You have comparisons like uh, less than and greater than which are in between, which are actually lower precedence even than the Boolean operators. Turns out that the precedence in Scala is set by the first character in the operator, in the method name. And letters are lower precedence than everything else. So if I do that, that is equivalent to age plus five because the plus has higher precedence than anything that uses a character as the first letter of, of the name. Okay, something else if you happen to be coming from Java, you would be aware that saying value equals equals age is a perfectly happy thing to do because those are two integers, but if you took strings and you said name equals equals Pat Cook, in Java this would be false because the equal equal in Java is doing an identity check, not really an equality check. In Scala, equal equal is doing an equality check. So this will wind up being true for us. So equal equal behaves the way that, that you expect. And if you're used to Java, you don't have to worry about calling the dot equals method because that's, a, that's basically what equal equal does. It gets turned into a call to, to dot equals. Uh, another detail of strings is that you can do multiplication on strings by an integer, in which case that string gets repeated that many times. There are certain places where, where that can be useful. I use it often for padding out values, so if I need to insert a given number of spaces or zeros or something at the beginning of a string, I can take whatever character I want to repeat as a string, do the product by the length that I need it to be, 
and that's helpful for uh, spacing things out. Also, if you happen to be coming from a language such as, say, Python, uh, the handling of types in Scala might seem a bit odd to you. In order to demonstrate this, it's probably best to bring up a REPL, the Read Evaluate Print Loop, and we can do that. We can go under Scala, and we can say Create Scala Interpreter in here. Okay, we have to save our file. And that gives us this little tool here where we can type in valid statements and expressions, and it gives us their value. It also tells us their types. So, for example, 4 plus 5 is, of course, 9. But what happens if you do 4 plus 5.0? Well, now one of them's an int and one of them's a double. It turns out that if you combine ints and doubles, it has a tendency to elevate the integer to be a double. What about division? So say 9 divided by 5. Well, both of those are integers, and so it does integer division. There is only one 5 that you can pull out of 9, and it has a remainder of 4. If you wanted the remainder, you could use the modulo operator to get that 4. But the types here matter because, so we saw 9 divided by 5 is 1. But what about 9 divided by 5.0? Well, now we have a double the 9 gets converted to a double, and the division happens as a double. And so we get back a value that is fractional. If either side, the 9 or the 5 or both, are doubles, we'll get back a, a fractional value. Also, for logic operations, Scala uses basically the same style as C or Java. So if I have two Booleans, true and true, my AND operator is two ampersands, my OR operator is two pipes, there is also an XOR operator, which is a caret, to say NOT or negation is an exclamation point, often read as BANG. Uh, to say NOT equals, you say BANG equals, and this is something that, depending upon what version of Python you used, Python 2 allowed that for NOT equal, that will not work in Scala. Not equal is always bang equal. So that's kind of a quick introduction to many of the expression types, uh, or the expressions that you can form in Scala and some of the details of what's really going on, as well as some of the things that might be different from languages that you have known previously.